That seems better. I was going to start streaming a lot earlier, so I mentioned yesterday uh, when we were playing Memories by Um that uh, I had a family gathering because of Easter this weekend, so uh, I, we, wow, we, we got it so perfectly timed. So we got that uh, just to the end of the level, right when my bride was here to pick me up unexpectedly like I thought I still had like another 20 30 minutes um so at least we got finished the map but we didn't get to do any mapping yesterday or uh, normally we would go into kind of like a little no clip exploration of the map a little bit um not that I always know what I'm looking at but uh I, I do think it's kind of fun just to poke around a little bit and course we wanted to do some mapping of our own so i was going to start this a lot earlier but i woke up way later because i was out way later and uh then i got <laughs> distracted making this thumbnail because i was like oh maybe i'll make a generic th uh, like thumbnail for my mapping stream and i had an idea i was just going to put like kind of what i have in the background and then i was going to put the duke nukem 2 intro where duke is getting abducted by aliens so he's on the chair but then <laughs> i was like that's kind of a like, it's a weird thing to put together in that way as a lazy thumbnail because it doesn't conceptually e even make sense. But I just wanted to make something unique. And then I went down this rabbit hole, which I think was a better approach. Um, and then I was always contemplating trying to figure out a way to some behind the scenes in the here. Um, Try to get music playing for my background music. So what we have here is the time to kill intro uh, or present day music. It's because they never copyright strike me and it, it loops okay-ish. Um, while I can maybe listen to something else for it without getting copyright struck. And then we can just work on some levels together. As a casual, calm way to end off uh, your weekend before going back into the world. Week. If you have like a where I wanted to get some, some work done here. Um, so, with that being out of the way, this isn't a traditional stream, so I want to still crack open memories. Not that I think I can open this properly, I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. I also want to see how this thing is switched. Oh, I did it perfectly. Is it F10? This is a different version of Mapster than the one I usually use. Um, so when I first loaded up this map, because I loaded it incorrectly when I was trying to play it for the uh, intro just to make sure I got it, the proper Eduke running, all that fun stuff before straight. It looked kind of like this. 
So we had some broken stuff. Interesting. I still wonder why. I don't know if I can load this properly. I didn't. I guess I could have Googled something about that, but I didn't. Once you throw things in GRPs, I haven't bothered to educate myself much further, other than I can. I know how to extract them. That's what I kind of did. And then I threw the GRP, like I dragged and dropped on Mapster to see if that would make a difference. Maybe it'll help load the assets correctly. I don't know. I'm learning as I go. I wonder what all of this stuff would mean. So let's, I'm going to turn off the texture so we can get a better frame rate going on here. I, I was actually shocked when I opened this up just to do tests. I actually thought this would be way bigger. Conceptually, in my mind, it feels like this would be broke. Uh... Wow, it's faster. I have some stuff getting delivered for... Um, but yeah, I thought this would have, take up way more space. Maybe it doesn't, and it just... Where's my starting point here? wonder if there was stuff up here. I didn't, I didn't see that at all. I also don't know how much of this would have changed, right? Um... I, I don't know, for example, the interactions with the, the weird god, the, the rug god in the wall, if those choices you make make any difference at all. Man, and I was worried it was going to be like super late. I was like, oh, maybe I just won't even stream it and I'll just uh, map on my own. So it took so long making like the thumbnail and getting stuff so set up in OBS for not just now but streamline stuff in the future, which like it's good. Like I'm I'm glad I did it, but I, my original intention was actually to stream and map like way earlier. But of course I get I, I get distracted when on side missions all the time. Um, yeah, I, that's I don't remember seeing those, so I wonder if that's like a different different thing that could do. Oh, some eyes. This is, this is where a secret was in the original. Uh, it is too late to continue sewer repair. So, really, what does while you do this? Ironically, that's one of the things I kind of want to work on. Is uh, not necessarily Billy Windows, but I was some sector over sector stuff because of something I saw. Billy. Well, this was the uh, the outdoor area with the little switch here. So this is this is a sector over sector situation as well. I wonder how that or no wait that's a sprite. Yeah, we're dealing with some sprites here. So these are how about. Could we be using these as teleports? I don't know the uh, high and low tag system yet. It's very much like a barrier. This was my uh, Blakestone area. That's what it made me feel like. Very Blakestone. -y. One second. Yeah, if you want to leave it on the front porch, I'll be right out. Yeah, like the front porch has like a green carpet look. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you do. Fine. Give me like 30 seconds here to grab this order.
seconds but I wonder if that's why Billy Boy's lighthouse map I can't open in Mapster 32 like it's all corrupted and looking uh, if you're saying you, it doesn't work in Mapster rendering thing phase to do you know there's alternative I was expecting that like way later in the evening. So I just. Like, kudos on them for getting there so early, but I'm here. Icky, no, do not walk on my nice stuff. So I just ate like. Might be that Mapster tries to correct the windows, but I'd have to investigate it. Make them anyways. I, um, I'm definitely a fan of Billy Boy Lighthouse situation. It's a I, have whip, I, I have some emotional whiplash with that map, to be honest. Like, there's, I find it just so grand in scale that it's, it's something impressive that I want to, uh, just love, but it's it's a it's a gauntlet, which is the point I feel. Oh, this is the part that fell out, like everything falls off. Oh, just in like an ambient noise thing. What's like, going on here? Where the octobrains, yeah, 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 shoot out. And there's some some dudes in here. Is that what was happening in uh, kind of blast radius here, or is this just a 
two sprites kind of flickering. Um, but I wonder if you could use that. And, and not Blaster Days, sorry. Um, the Lunar Apocalypse remake that CK3D did, where the troopers got caught on the edge of a sector, and they were all in a perpetual state of falling and dying at the same time. Kind of probably recreate that and use that. I like this circle room here. This was in the, uh, the Hell World. Just that felt oh, like a, I'm in a tonsil. Or like a mouth, I guess. Not in the tonsil. That, that, that would... Um, and there was that that car. So there's this car here that I thought. I wonder what this is. Like if we're thinking about memories, is the memories of the person playing this? If we get the secret ending, I'm not sure how serious I'm supposed to take the secret ending oh. in in level lore. I did notice, obviously, there's a lot more files when I unpack the GRP, so video stuff. And we saw that weird YouTube video that was maybe linked to this if we found the right one. I think we did. And there was some other references that we noticed while playing the level, or at least I did. Um, yeah, it's just in a hidden wall for, for no real reason. This is the woman who tells you the code, but you die to, for it to work. That was fun. Introduction of the new enemy, which is... I wonder how many uh, more little tiny things were hidden in here that we just didn't notice. You know? Let me go down here. I like this. I liked a lot of the effects he was doing to do the like de degradation of the universe because you're in this game, uh, such as stuff like this, uh, which is kind of funny because. We the map we played last week as well. Um, Dogville had that with the 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 posters as well as yeah yeah the posters were to do this weird thickness as well as to play with some lighting. Stuff like this. I... What's up? Seems to be all the dreamy stuff. Yeah, here's the burning guy. Goes here. I really like the uh, the ending though. With the, I know there's a lot of, of new arts and stuff, but where he did the. Hollywood Holocaust, but like years later, where it's been overgrown and stuff. Okay, so yeah, this was the. I wonder why all this stuff is is like this. Like even if it's broken in mind version, like what would it have represented? 
in the in the actual. So this is the secret ending if you get all the keys, where you get the package delivered here. I do like this little house. And uh when you warp back here, very nice, very nice. Oh, this is where you meet the the, the god, dude. Oh yeah, I never think it. I thought this was really cool. That's a, a cool effect of that stretching effect. Just for the insides, yeah. The insides here. The apartment secret, but it's, it's main, and then you can see the eyes in the background. here and then it's closed okay so it's just a little bit of trickery here oh this is the uh the evil god dude I was wondering is uh no this area out here because you have the um the secret up top is that is that here as well like a silent teleport that goes here so that you teleport back here. And there's a copy there anyways. So why did you need another copy? Well, it's all different. Oh, there's the outdoor area.
Right? Like this is this is this is a cool little area in this one. Now I kinda wanna a couple more levels where somebody gives recreates the Duke Nukem levels that are like overgrown. Just for fun, because I also like build engine stuff where it's like, okay, try to do outdoor arrows. Now you're doing some new art. So but the, still. Nothing wrong with that, and I think that would be the best way to do it if you really wanted to do it. This area is great, though. Up it. Yeah, I think that's it. Like, it, it's so, like, tightly constructed that I'm kind of shocked at how small it it looks on this. And that's not meant to be a criticism. It's just meant to be, like, I'm, I'm shocked that when I open this up, it's not, like, sprawling. Um... Let me switch over to my version of Mapster. Back into our version here. Now I wonder if I did Let's Rock. Well, I wonder why it was so recommended. That have changed something. Anyways, I think that was great. And I'm glad I somehow was not aware that it would be anything like that kind of experience at all. Even even having some prior knowledge of the author's previous maps. I really did be like, yeah, sure, why not? He just came back and made a nice little classic style map. Just to dust off those level editing muscles. It made perfect sense to me. So here's our little map that we're making, um, which is our 90s theme mall area. Uh, what I was thinking today is what we could do is a little bit of uh, mix and match here, where maybe we put a little uh, an hour timer and build on one specific area and then do another hour and flip over to a completely different area of the mall. So we can slowly start to flesh out different sections. Um, but at the same time, maybe I won't do that. Really up to interpretation today. I'm just, just kind of want to build. So 
what I'm going to do is this. see if my OBS experiment worked. I, one of the reasons I started uh, the stream so late was well, from when I was planning on starting this unplanned stream was I guess I got lost in OBS stuff. to solve my issues. If I, if I did, on we go. Yep, we did. Solved it. Let's do this, guys. Uh, F3 here. I'm going to try to describe what I'm doing while I'm working on it. Um, so that sometimes when you see me just staring off into space in game like this, you'll know what I'm doing. And as we do have the keyboard here, so we're going to kind of learn as we go. So I pressed F3 there to put my Unreal Tournament style. That's what it's described as. I didn't want to edit for Unreal Tournament. Oops. I'm bad. Sorry. Sorry for that. Um, but anyways, so I didn't map for that, so I have no idea. But it just allows free uh, mouse look, personal preference. Um, and I do have some mods installed for Mapster 32 by Brawl of... Um, pretty sure that's who gave them. Well, created them in general, too. Um, which is the shader preview. So if I do... What is this? Comma X to do shade preview. That's where I can press space to select things uh, for uh, sector selection here. To sometimes make things easier while I'm walking around and maybe making some stairs, I can just do, 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 and, and raise and lower things. Um, and then, oh, it swaps out the default texture for this so that for spacing, it's, it's something to work with. Um, other than that, I think that's the only extra additions I got going on here under the hood. I don't know much else that would exist. Not that you need them either. I just thought kind of would make things easier for me and I'd probably do. So we, we were working on this outdoor area here where we wanted the person to, or in this case Duke, to drop down and teleport into a trap area. So if you were to think about it, he comes up here and there's no enemies here. He dives down and then there's going to be a ton of enemies there. And the top of this would be closed. So when you drop down and it's submerged under the water, uh, at some point you would teleport to a different area where the, the top is actually clipped or something. Or I could just do one some one-sided sprites. Uh, but I wonder how I would do the water so I could still see it. But at the same time, we just saw it in memories with that floating water cube. Granted, that had some adjustments to the game as well. So maybe it's just not something you could do here without cons. We're not playing with con stuff or anything like that right now. Um, so I still think we might do a teleport trick, which is what I was thinking about doing here. So I'm doing a little test one uh, where you would teleport and there'd be an exact copy of this room beside it. 
and I'd have a lineup of uh, kind of placeholder enemies, like just cardboard cutouts, if you think about it, po uh, positioned to be looking at an uh, attacking Duke. Maybe put one or two live ones to shoot. Um, so that way I could stage a scene and then when Duke escapes and comes back into this area, he could kill all the aliens because they'll be actually here, the real ones. Um, but then I could lock that up and then have it so he could come back and it's now freely open and whatever. Um, that's my thought. Because otherwise, I could do a chore layer, but I don't want to cop out and do chore for every solution because that's the only thing I'm vaguely okay with. Um, because I also sometimes find it a little complicated. Just, uh, you get a mess of sectors. Now, there are shortcuts that will alleviate this, um, one of which is related to this, so I can gray out sectors here and only see what I'm working on. But I haven't really tried to do that yet. Um, so we could start here. We could also go back into the mall and maybe work on some some areas here. I was thinking about the outdoors as well, uh, where we could change the entrance to kind of Kind of just like a like a triangle kind of thing. And it would be kind of castle-esque. I was watching some videos while walking around today um, to burn off all that turkey I ate. And they had these, I wonder if I could find a picture of it for you so you can, you can see what I'm talking about. I don't know if it's on our mood board, though. So give me a second. Maybe it is. Uh, I don't think... Because we had this entrance, and I do like this. But I'm thinking we could still have something like this as well. Um, yeah, I don't think we had this mood thing. Uh, let me see here. There's some other fun things I'd like to try as well, but it's more into getting out like how the mechanics of stuff work. Um, like creating the shrunken... I, I, I mentioned in a previous stream I, I had this idea of do getting shrunk down into a miniature version of Hollywood Holocaust, actually. Just because it would be something familiar and you would jump in between, like, little Lego sets in a way. Um, but it wouldn't look like Lego. It would look like a miniature. So I'm thinking that it would be, like, a toy set here. Um, but I think I, I need to plan that idea out a little bit more. I can't find a, a appropriate version of what I'm talking about, but I think it's because I was watching it in a video for a 90s mall. You'll trust me, have to trust me, it just, uh, it looked like something. Um. Yeah, so we could work on the outside a little bit of this section. Too. There's a lot. There's so much, so much stuff too. Because depending on the placement of where we want to put this, this thing here, which is going to be the outdoor store, which is kind of pseudo connected to the mall, I'm thinking. Uh, you'd have it over here, for example. Oh, this is actually lined up fine. Yep.
Oh, it's because I have auto gray out on. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing yet. Um, definitely play with this. This is the entrance that we have now for the water. If we play with some shapes here. If I want it to be a square and I want it to be kind of castle-like, right? If I still want to have that parallaxed sky, I'd have to do the middle as kind of... Kind of, uh... Maybe spritish. Maybe. thinking, yeah. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do, maybe. Maybe 10 seconds. Just go quickly. Maybe 30. Maybe I think I'm just going to do this so I can get the timing done. What I'm going to do, we're going to put an hour timer for this part, and we're going to build this outdoor area for about an hour. Um, nothing we're going to be building today is going to be final. We can always change it later on. Um, so just really casually having some fun in the in the uh, level editor here. Which is Mapster 32, comes with the Duke 32. Is the uh, modern source port to uh, work? No, port to run uh, Duke Nukem 3D that we use here on this channel. There are other options, but um, you know, I need to learn one at a time. Maybe I'll only ever learn one, so right now it's this. Uh, so let's set a little timer here. something on LPS here. Countdown. Now 
now you have a little counter for us. So we're gonna do an hour of this. We're gonna solve this little outdoor door section here. Um, at least the shape of it. So again, I wanna do this entrance here. If we're still thinking this is gonna be three-ish big, big here. Um, I want this to be a little bit longer. Actually, I wanna just drag out this back here. see size-wise how big I'd want that. Drag this out a little bit here. Oops. Okay, let's zoom in to make it easier to grab. I'm gonna reset the texture here and wall align it just so that we can again get a better sense of scale. Um, We'll use a trooper here as well. So let's duplicate him. Not be that bad boy. But they're pretty much 64 high is what I feel in game. Is a comfortable height for a, a door. And then you want it a little bit wider than, than this. If we're doing, if we're trying to get more scalish things right, but uh, there is no real right or wrong way. And sometimes for gameplay purposes, you need to make that scale a little bigger for movement. And that's kind of what makes Doom Cute stuff. Right, that term? Doom Cute to me is because I'm like... You probably could make more detailed stuff in Doom now. But at the same time, it's kind of funny. Everything's chunky. Uh, this is not the middle here. That's why that looks good to me. Still not four or five. And there we go, that's a cool cleaner angle there. I, think I messed up the sizing here because these aren't going to align properly. Um, yeah, that's too big for an entrance. So we're going to shrink this guy down here. I think the proper way to do this would be go one, two, one, two. Let's move this in one, two. Effectively shrink it. Okay, yeah. For sizing. So if I did that and I want if I want to like a little hassle esque or we could do it the more complicated we make this top section, the less complicated I could make the entrance entrance. Or we could do a more complicated entrance section and have the top being plain. It doesn't need to be complicated, you know? I mean, uh, in terms of detail, just because of sectors. Because originally I was thinking if we do just a little notch here, then we'd have a sign. So it'd be... Then what you could do is, is if I took this, I'm gonna flatten that. And I'm gonna make it that, and instead we would do this as a sprite. I'm gonna do a, a quick and dirty one here. Um, do it ninety and ninety. Oh, 
let's just see how that looks. Kind of weird. It's like a, I'm doing 91, 91. That looks, that looks right there. But it's just a strange uh, combo. We're gonna duplicate that. And this is going to be completely different once we change the texture, because we could have the, a, a different scale here. But just for the purpose of this, we're going to do this one. Unless you just did a chore for an effect, but I feel like that would be so unnecessary. to sell an effect that I think I could just do this way. Uh, we're going to do sprites only here. Sprites only. Duplicate. Go inside. Page up. I didn't I need to do it like that. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll we'll do it this way. Might be easier. Nine eight three zero four. Nine eight three zero four. Because this is an entrance to a mall, we we'll probably do it maybe tilted too. I don't know. It's all going to depend on the textures, so let's not even worry about the shaping of it. All right? So you'd have that entrance there. Well, I could carve this out to give it a curve if I really wanted it to. Um. just to make it visually less chaotic for you guys. I think this is a weird shape. Uh, now we gotta split that up just to get these guys in there properly. And I'm gonna, again, do this.
so this is why what I'm going to do is actually this. So give me a second here. I just want my um, aisles to be a little matchier for my scale. It'll make more sense once I do this. So I'm going to Actually, I'll, I'll leave that here for now because I, I I want something to see these while I'm, I'm pasting it. Um, but just so we can have the these line up. Then we can shrink this a little bit. Um, Trying to make my floor line up here. There we go. So then when I reset this. It's because this section doesn't line up. So if I were to paste this to this, it should actually. Oh well. I'm going to change this anyways. I, I, I just for some reason in my mind it feels like it would logically stretch automatically, but you're but the perspective is always going to be messed up when it's diagonal. I don't know why I'm thinking everything would be okay here. Uh, so we'll copy these. Yeah, we're gonna just go to side view for this one though, because I'm gonna. Oops. So we're gonna. Oops. oops. How do I do this? Oh, I just I just highlight. So okay. So, just so people know what I'm doing. Uh, you have your default view here, which is your your overhead view when you're making your map. And then what ends up happening here is if I press F3, we're going to go to a side view of the map, uh, which can make some selection like this, where we're trying to select these sprites here, but they're stacked. So if we're highlighting it in the side view, we're going to highlight all four. We don't want to do that. So we're going to press F3 to go into our side view mode. And normally, instead, we click and drag. We can't do that because it's going to keep trying to lock onto things. We're going to hold Alt. Right alt, I think specifically, and then I can, or maybe is it control? One of these, one of these lines. Shift, left shift, that's what it was. Now we can highlight these. And now, we go back here and we go to insert. Sprites are duplicated, so we can now go back here and page up, and there's gonna be some new ones. Let's actually lock these. Oh, yeah. Make the skyline up here. Oh. And we don't even need those top ones. Because you won't be up there. You won't be able to go up here. So that's actually a pointless addition that we added. 
We just have to worry about this bottom area here. We're gonna delete this, this. Unnecessary. Yeah. I'm trying to deselect. Sometimes the little selection tool doesn't either, I'm doing it wrong or they mentioned it's a little bugged. It's not official. Uh, so there, there's your side view, right? So, and then you can have your mall entrance in here. So if we're thinking about it in these pieces, one, two, three by three is what we have. Maybe not three by three. We got here for height. I got a little bit up over 64. So we're gonna make this um, non parallaxed here. No, I said non parallaxed. Thank you. And I'm gonna lower this down. I can also drag this, by the way, but I, I don't want to... And... Put these, I just want this for height. Uh, it's a mall, remember, so... Bigger, bigger entrance, maybe. And this isn't the main entrance, it's gonna be like a rear entrance if you wanna think about it like, like that. Still maybe go a little, a little wider here. This is the kind of micromanaging that is I personally do, but you don't always have to do in your map make. I don't know why, I just, uh, very meditative thing, you know? Get some maps. Uh, we're gonna put, just for fun, a mask here so I pressed M on this top bit so that's gonna put a fake thing so I could transparency that now the reason I'm doing that is I'm gonna put just this um, I might want something that fits here a little easier because the thing is for the mask it, it doesn't really matter here it's meant to be temporary. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, there. Just so you know, that's a wall. And that fits perfectly, actually. In terms of uh, sizing, at least. Just think about it like that. Um, and then we can build that side area here. So, there'd be... Maybe there would be a little lip here. Want a nice little aesthetic. Uh, but let's get this side over here as well, just so we have a proper test. And we can do that by, again, we're going to hold... Which one do I want? Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're going to click and drag, and then we're going to do control, which is sprites only, so that we won't collect uh, any of these sector points I'm going to let go here. Then okay. function, insert, or... Technically, just insert, depending on your computer. And now we even selected. There's a way to rotate these. And I think we're going to be okay because we're just rotating with um, a very set angle. But sometimes things will get off kilter, so we'll see. Um, now, how do I do it? Control. Mouse button. 
Okay, there. So it sh left shift, and then I can drag. Boom. There. So we quickly made a copy and stuck it there. Nice. And then if you want to think about it like that, so we could do... This is just a temporary thing. So by no means do I would I plan on it looking like this. But what we're going to do is... Uh, I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to double it in size. 128. Make sure this is the right angle. And then what we can do is this: Control T, and now we can type. Oops. Hopefully, Control T. Maybe not. We did it, kind of. I just did it incorrectly. Maybe I misunderstood how this works. Maybe it can't do it at an angle, so I'd have to rotate it first. that is uh, left shift and then we can look at it we're gonna rotate it one more this way We have locking off. We're gonna make this a little a more uniform here. I just wanted a little bit away from the sprite wall so we can see it. Um, So you know. Uh, so we'll save that there. But that's what I was thinking, right? So like you have this, and then you'd have this doesn't even have to be. This could be still open, so you could just block this off, um, or we could close it off too. I was thinking you close it off because it's like, oh, if it was raining, you'd have this little hidey hole here or hole. Um, And then we could we work on the design more of it, like when when we do the final past for detailing and stuff. But because uh, we might give it like little supports, and that might change that. But conceptually, that's what I was thinking for the little mall entrance here. Is you have that inlet. Um, so texture wise, you'd have something that was just threw something on. Oh, or that um. Just control P to change the, the palette. 
think I like that. It's the green, otherwise I think I, I would use this more. Feels... I don't want to get in the habit of using this too much. Let's just do that for now. Painting here. Almost people would quickly take up residence in that hole. Yeah, it is a risk depending on where you live, I suppose. Maybe that's why people don't build stuff like that anymore, but uh, like we have some stuff like th this here. It's just a matter of picking which one do we do here. We could do like one line across. I, I, just, I would like something else. Um, so what we, we kind of want, even if it's just a temporary one. How do we the require a lot more? Should do this and then do a uh, just don't think that might be too much gray for me. Almost be, uh, high trees in your map. Mr. Fixes Billy Boost windows. It picks up on the wall corruption unless you're running expert mode and fixes the effect. So you can still make them Billy's way, but just opening the map in non-expert mode, Mapster will nuke them. Uh, perhaps it's the only part of the world, uh, but have you ever noticed beneath underpasses how and have bobbly floors with uh, bricks or stones to count? Stop translating them. I I have seen those uh, where so where I live here. So I'm in Canada. Uh, now, I'm not saying all parts of Canada are like this. You, I probably could see what they call it, like ho hostile architecture. Uh, but yeah, we don't have that here. At least anywhere I've ever seen. But I've seen it online, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, that's a big one. Well, so... That's a park tire architecture. Yeah. Because then underneath here, you could just do these. And then we just rotate them to match up here. Wait. Mall. There you go. It really is. Yeah, the one that blows my mind, to be honest, is when they do it to, like, places you would sit. And I'm like, okay, so even if I were... Whether I agree or disagree with your approach at trying to deal with, like, a homeless issue, if that's what you're trying to address, why would you want to make it so that nobody would ever be able to use it, period? Like, what's the point of a bench if the bench has spikes on it? Um, I've seen those ones, for example. And... That one I, I kind of get a little confused at because shouldn't I still want to use the thing? Um, 
But I, I, I only see those little snippets of it, so I don't know how, how much I'm thinking. I don't have that lived experience. this so we can zoom in uh, again we're gonna do shift here we're gonna f3 back to get back we're gonna insert those bad boys we go back to locking mode here it's a whole industry so doesn't mind impractical access and leave it become impossible. So, yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's weird. It's weird. And like you know that now that there's a there's a whole company that and now their whole industry is let's figure out a way to make chairs uncomfortable. What a wild world. Again here. Oh, I'm doing spacing. Oh, I'm doing spacing. Just do this too. I keep forgetting. I like the particularly extreme example angles as they really show the nonsense of the logic. Yeah. No chairs are as bad as the ones in the ER. No spikes, but I swear the breaker of a desk. So what the hell is that? I think I've uh, only been like sat in a hospital chair once or twice in my life, and I definitely don't get why they have to be uncomfortable. Now it could be lazy and just put. It strips going up. But instead, it actually might be easier to do... What we'll do is this. We'll, st we'll still copy these guys. Um, all of these ones. I'm going to duplicate these. And I already screwed up. Dang it. Dang it. I made a duplicate, didn't I? Okay, good.
yes, anyways, I was thinking about copying this. Again, well, the sprites only. Uh, what is it? Sprites only? Yeah, control. Then we'll duplicate it, and I'll drag that out. We'll lock these guys. Then I can just... What, what I can do is this. Oh, i am got to be in an appropriate sector here. Uh, uh, we'll delete the mall part. Then we can do this. I already know these the spacing here is wrong for something. And I want to do shift rotate. Pop that down there. Because then we can have completely different floor here, right? So we could throw in, uh, just as an example, this, right? And we can even angle it. So now it's rotated. I don't know if I like that over there. Uh, if I broke the sector in half, that would fix it, but. Uh, we have a smaller version. Yeah, maybe do a smaller version or a big version there, and then a smaller version here. Or maybe just the angle difference is fine. Let's leave that like that for now. Uh, should it have sloped pointy chairs noted? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's the entrance, but you'd still have like walkways and stuff like that, right? So you'd, this this would probably be raised on a slight curve or something. Um, and then you'd have whatever wall extra we'd have here. Let's do this. Uh, we have this tiled approach. I could probably do that pretty easily. I only have that one picture of the outdoors. So let me see if there's another... Yeah, you got your brick and then lines. We could do some sprites. You can't see what I'm looking at, though. I could, I could probably fix that. Hello. Oh, I broke something there. Oh, so let's get the. Maybe we'll get some inspiration from something on the inside here. Now, like, see, they have that there, and then there's the road. I like this one right here, this the last one in the middle. Well, oh, let's go back. Uh, do like a little bit of red brick, maybe, and then we could sprite up the top. Brick. Let's zoom in and out. That wasn't it? Wasn't an episode four thing, was it? No, it's right here.
sorry, I'm deep in thought right now. I have an idea of something. I'm thinking if I want to do it or not. I'll show you what it is. Well, I know I can, I just don't know if I want to, if I want to. Because I think I might want that to be a little taller. I wonder if I could do that if I, so I'm going to unparallax this. Um, no, I can't do that without... Doing something else. Okay, anyways, here's what I was thinking about doing. So I'm gonna put these as my default sprites, unparallax that. Uh, whatever. And I'm going to raise this. So now what we have here is a situation where if I want to make this look different, I want this top part to be different. Like, let's say I want the bottom to be red brick. And the top I want to be generic. Let's say that, okay? I'm, I'm not thinking that. So I'm pressing two on it, so that's gonna make the bottom here different. Otherwise, this would be one solid sprite when you're dealing with sectors. So if I've made it into like a floor and a ceiling, now I can paint this uh, with the bottom here, this brick. I don't know if this is going to work color-wise, but and then I can figure out how high I want this. And in this case, I'm going to want it up to here. Right, so I'm going to want it up to there, and I'm going to want this to drop down. I wonder if I could do something else here, too. Let me do something. If I mask this, then I could probably get three textures, and then I block it. And then do that as a strip, let's say, and this as a... Uh, let's just say that, for example. Yeah, so we could three strip it if we really wanted to. Uh, we could put sprites too, but I don't know if the brick is too red, especially with this entrance. We might want a more minute palette here. So let's do. I like this one, but it's it's just the dupe texture for this brick might be wrong. I don't, and unless I change the. Maybe. And then I reverse and actually put something down here. So let's change this. Uh, let me get rid of the palette for this one. 15 minutes. Oh, we're doing pretty good actually for this section. Um, let's do that. No, I, I don't. Buddy. There. There. Do this. I don't want that really. Maybe we would take inspiration from that texture here. Mm, I don't want that because I, 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 I could reuse that a little bit.
See, this is where this might be easier if that was a sprite, because I don't like the size of that. I like that. So I need to find something that either works down here without changing it. Malls of Steel. Now, the other way I was thinking is you could just do a little lip here so that it's not on the same plane, right? But you'd use some more sectors where you here, and I, I, I don't need this to be overly complicated for it. And you'd have this little lip which would mess up the sizing on that texture. I could fix it, but um, I don't want to. So I don't want to use this because you use that a lot sometimes. Do I? Maybe we just need to contextualize it a different way. Maybe this. Right, and then if we mask it, and then we change that to this. And what do we want? I'm still thinking this brick. the brown and this we need to find something that's going to work so I'm thinking one of the half ones might work a little better in this situation like the half textures like this but horizontally which does limit what we can use here I don't think I can flip. Yeah, I can't flip that. Could work. Not not that one specifically, but that idea. The repeating ones. Something like that could work too. I don't know if I can move that independently, can I? I can, it just moves that. Just reusing that color across to, to link the two, you know? Still want that to be poop brown though. I don't know why it keeps changing it. 
See, this is where I'd want that to be like a tad lower if I could. But I can't without getting that. Like, this just doesn't work. can always change it later again like we're just getting the feel of the place but uh i think that's uh is there music playing for you guys by the way i'm, I'm hoping there is I've, i have that intro but i'm so worried that i screwed something up all the time yeah it is cool now i just gotta remember to turn it off though when i'm actually doing let's plays um So let's do that on the opposite side of the wall as well, just to uh, get both sides going. to be able to just copy that section here but now that I have it already done it'll be pretty, pretty fast gotta remember these two numbers here we got 38912 and 55296 Six, was I right? That's cool. Mask this bad boy. Inside, you could do a different color, so I could do something like the brick inside. Right? this on and I'm gonna put this guy just kind of let's turn this off for a second. We mean sectors duplicate. What do you mean? Oh that's what I'm doing. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. I 
longer. But, but anyways, the reason I was doing this is I want to insert this, insert this, make a little curb so it was, would be a slightly different texture for this part, um, which I'm thinking just like a concrete. Maybe just one. Theoretically, like, this would be the entrance, and then you'd have, keep in mind, like, this would be over here, right? And this would be... If I just drag this over, what would happen? Did this because this one could let's move that out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna drag this over and just oh, I guess it couldn't. I was hoping for an easy way to just slide that over to connect it. If I copied this and then added that there, or if I deleted this, I already know what I did wrong. I'm gonna go back here. I'll be able to pull this off in the last minute. I need to shrink this down just a little bit so I can slide it in easier. Racing. Uh, Alright, so then we do this, and then I can connect these two points together here and now you have your entrance oh wait oh it's because this is masked
There's your little mall entrance. Example, just as an example. Like I, I don't know if we're gonna 100% go with this idea of a design. Um, cause it's still, I still have some stuff to do in the mall entrance to open it up. Uh, it'd be cool if these were actual doors. What I could do is this. wouldn't be sprites like I'd actually make them usable doors so this is just uh, again a, a visual that would be nice surprised they didn't make a version of that that was I can do this a different way but Do want like a like a squareness, like a square is there something that's just a square outline? With a see-through center that I, I don't know about or don't remember. I could do something with this. Then you would just hide this. One... What is this? This here. Move that here. Long nicely. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Then I could do. Like, this is all a facade right now. So none of this is working in terms of actual doors. I'm not sure how this would be, but just so we have a, a temporary solution here for a visual representation of what we're trying to make, right? 
then I'm thinking. Well, this one kind of looks like doors, you know? Not this one. Like, eventually it will be. So the, right now, just so we kind of understand where we're going at here, is when you start this map, the idea is you want to go in the mall in the end. That That's kind of where we want to go. Um, but we want to run up here so you can find out that this is, is locked. So eventually this would open, so you'd have free reign to come in and out as you please. But for now, when you start the map out, it, it's locked. So you want to find a way to get in here. Sorry, I'm just transparencing this a little bit. Uh, so you want to find a way to get into the mall itself. And the idea is you would see the fountain here. It, not that it's, I think it's a huge hint because I think it might barely register as a hint only in hindsight. Um, but then the idea is there'd be a pool of water here, which we have right here. Um, that would be something you have to go into. So this, when you go under here, you teleport into the water section here and you'd have to swim down. This is temporary, so there'd be more you can do down here, I'm thinking or uh, it's also going to be used as a, a shortcut. You come out here, and when you pop up here, you are now in the mall. So you actually come out of the top of this fountain here. I, I don't know. It's just how what happens. And uh, now you're in the mall. And that's how we get in here. And this water area, this little pond, what we've decided is it's going to be attached to another section. So there's going to be like a store out here somewhere and it's going to be an outdoor store which is what this is going to be and you're going to go through with and you're going to have to get a key card to get in here so it's you're going to go into the pool of water buy it which will give you an opportunity to scope it out and notice that and uh there's going to be like another key card section in here um you know just playing around with ideas so what we did, I'm going to open this up in game just so we can see the scale of it and everything. See how that works. Um, and then I'm going to do a hop on stuff for like two or three minutes. Come back. We're going to restart the clock that's kind of going over. And we're going to come switch to a completely different section of the mall and work on that section for an hour. Um, so that way we can experiment with new ideas and slowly flesh out this entire mall little bit by a little bit. So let me open this up here. Quit that for a second here.
I forgot that I was over here. I moved the uh, player's starting position. Ian Clip. Um, Ian Show Map. Just gonna, just gonna hang around here. These are some test rooms for some uh, of the glass ceilings I'm thinking about for this outdoor mall. So where you see this square, these four pegs, that's where that would slot in. And you'd kind of be able to see out of it. So we're thinking about the transitionary phase here as we rough up this section. So the idea is Duke would have to go down here and he would get trapped in the water and can't get out because this would seal shut or force field shut, I'm thinking. And you'd have to like sneak out of a, an exit or something. Build aliens if you want. Maybe that would do something as well. Have a little secret for that. Um, but that would also allow you, so if you do go all the way back here, there's a quick way to go back in and you can get the shortcut out again. And that would loop back into the underwater section here. So because we're already underwater, we'd have like an explosive part that would blow up. So now you can go into the water to pop into this side here. I'm pointing at my screen, you can't see it, but you... So, so like down here, you would have a uh, like explosive thing to pop back out as a shortcut or to get back into the other side of Big Butts, Bucks outdoor place or whatever that's called. Um, so yeah, I think sizing works out pretty pretty nice here. It gets that effect. Again, I don't know if I'm going to close this off or not. Um, I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, maybe we would come in here. So this stuff is... I wonder how many, many of these would just be facades that you couldn't get into, and then we don't have to do so much work in all of them. Because some of them I, I think I want, I want to put more effort into, obviously, because I want the player to go into them and have some cool experiences. Uh, where others, I guess you could just think of them as uh, set dressing, in a way. Um, and the idea here is, so for people new, the plot of the level that we've kind of roughly structured out here is Duke uh, was hanging out in his house, or he's at a house. I've contemplated whether he's in the middle of the country or somewhere, like, for the reason of why I'm going to explain. And he gets abducted by aliens, so he's in the process of getting sucked up and dragged out. And I wanted that to be, a, like, a little set piece for an intro. Um... Yes, yeah, I also love exploring, so I want to encourage that. And also, if you repeat playthroughs, I like people to uncover cool things as well. Uh, if we have time... Oh, well, look at that, guys. Teleport in there. Okay, well, that's something I'll have to worry about later. Um, but yeah, Duke gets abducted, and that would be your little intro. I thought about making that as a separate little tiny level. So I could work on that separately outside of stream. So 50-50 on whether that'll happen. Um, and then you blow, you go through the ship and you get, you jump off of the ship and land somewhere over somewhere. And that is where you now want to go back to the ship to finish the job. So the, the ship's going to be smoking off in the, in the skyline here somewhere. And you're going to want to go in it. And the idea is the aliens have a, they've a attacked the mall to try to get parts to repair their ship. So that's why there's going to be stuff in here. And they're, you know, they're doing an alien thing sometimes. Uh, you'll go through here and go through the mall to stop their plans, get back and get back on the ship, and uh, do ship stuff. And we do have a test version of this actually. I'm going to load up an older version of this. Um, Yeah, even though it's still a, a, kind of temporary, you know what? We got a little bit more of that idea because I want to flesh out that gameplay section in the beginning uh, so we can figure out where the mall entrance is going to be. Or sorry, the outdoor place is going to be um, and then go from there. So I'm going to load the old version of this. Let's see. Let's see this Come get some. Uh, so you can understand the test I'm, I'm talking about here. Oh. 
this, this is too old. Or actually, no. This might not be too old. It might be actually four. Two. Because I remember we got rid of it for a little bit. Uh, we did a simple... Yeah, so this is this one. So this is uh, a test skybox we did. So you can see a little miniature of the city. And my idea would be... You would also see the ship overhead here. And at any point in time in the sections of the map. So if we go... Uh, so if you go into the outdoor section, that's going to be over there. It's skylight as well. You'd be able to see the UFO in it as well. So it'd be this ominous presence for you to remember where he's trying to go. Um, yeah. I have an even bigger section or idea for a higher level for this mall. Because this is going to be like the back entrance, not even the main entrance that you're that you're at. So... Oh, and then, yeah, if you want to see what this looks like, too, in the game. Here. Um, but there... What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, and for multi-tiered, uh, there's this elevator set piece I'm thinking about doing where uh, you would blow up... Actually, here, I'll show you. I apologize if you had the uh, double musing there. I don't think you did, but just in case you did. Um, through this guy right here. So there's this, this, this is our mood board we created when we started making this, where we just started pulling reference photos of 90s stuff. Uh, so like, I like this walkway here too, and I, I'm thinking about putting some tubes. So definitely we want some walkway because I do agree, it's a nice visual. I don't think we're gonna go on every single floor of this mall. The idea is very much to limit the player's movement. So I don't think we'll have a jetpack, for example. Um, just so that way I don't have to obviously want to build them all. Obviously, I, I could definitely just have half the stores closed, but uh, I want there to be kind of a flow so the idea is you could see that there probably is one, but you're not going to always go there. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, because I, I think that's also a tease a little bit. Where I don't, I don't want it to feel like you're you're missing out on too much. So, but it's because of this this little uh, elevator here. I was thinking about doing a. I, I like the visual of being able to see through and all this, but I don't want to make a working elevator like that because that would make it really complicated and I'm not as experienced with that part of the editor yet. Um, but what I could probably do is blow it up. So like Duke would go to activate this elevator and to get to the top floor, because he needs to get, obviously the UFO is flying around up here. Uh, and this would connect to like a penthouse thing situation. And this would blow up. So you'd have to find another way around. And that's why you have to go through the malls to go through the fiber service tunnel. Um, yeah. That's what I'm thinking here. So what I'm going to do is grab some refreshments. I forgot I grabbed this. And that way I can actually quickly grab a, a brief little snack here as well. Um, so I'm going to quickly go outside just to get some fresh air for about, let's say, five minutes. And uh, I'll also quickly eat my snack at that time. And then I'll be back and we'll restart the clock and work on a different section. Uh, maybe we'll go back to the outdoor mall. Um, only because I don't, I don't know what area I'd want to work on in the mall itself. If we could do the multi-tiered part, maybe. At least conceptualize the design. Because that one, would you realistically, if you're not going to go there, I could hide it with sprites. Or we could use just a, a bunch of chore layers just for visual. Um, we could even work on some generic mall sections, like hallways, just so that we can have things to copy and paste. Uh, 
the more complicated thing is going to be the outdoor section for that trap part. Would be a good way to show off the info suite in the wiki, though, for people that aren't uh, familiar. So, yeah, give me about uh, five, ten minutes here. <laughs> yeah? Let's see how that works. I'll be hanging out in chat though, so you can feel free to chat away.
quick little detour here. We're going to follow uh, And there's actually one thing I was going to change too, because I, I think what I might do is if I ever do like extra streams like this, I could just reuse the thumbnail. Um, maybe change the picture. And be a much quicker tempo. So you can uh, follow along with me while I fix this. Things I was going to change is I was actually going to get rid of this border. I'm really liking the this, but I want to reuse this. Make my life a little. tech uh, software. In case I we might not have to redo all this. I have like a tool I use to make this glow. Ironically, I think the tool would actually be Detour from mapping. Does anyone know what map in the background? I do. There's no people at that build that skill set where they're just like instantly recognizing that. I do a blur. extra pieces. Thank you. 
probably just gonna let's go. What we can actually do is color entirely the outside. I had an idea while I was outside, so here's my idea for my map. Um, so I was thinking about this thing would be connected to uh, like a, a high-rise condominium, right? And that's where Duke has to go because the uh, spaceship is attached or crashed into the high-rise. Um, and originally that's why Duke has to get there, so he could get into the alien ship that way. Um, but maybe that's where the upper section is that we were thinking about designing next. So maybe that's where Duke's penthouse is in this, wherever the city is. And that's where he gets abducted, so he has to go back up. But also, we could have, like, he would have a pool on his penthouse. So the underside of the pool would be see-through, and that's what you could see up towards if you looked up in this one section. And so then there's also a part where you could go into that pool at the top and see the mall underneath or this high rise thing. I'm like, did I just do the same thing again? I'm trying to scroll and I'm clicking the wrong button. Uh, this. Selection, we're gonna duplicate that. White boy here, we're gonna fill. Right. Pixel figure.
Fixed thumbnail. Beautiful thing. Well. Now it's now it's fixed. Now it's fixed. When YouTube decides to refresh. So we did this. You guys want to think uh, about it in the section here? So let's get my little board out too, actually. Anyone who wants to see the commands. Thinking for, and let's restart the clock too, actually. So we want to do an outdoor, not an outdoor area, so this multi-tier area. We want to see where the character would spawn here. So I'm going to do a little square. We're going to build this separate from the this stuff for now. Uh, maybe we'll drag it a little bit closer, though. Get the gray out option. And I want to turn off automatic gray. This automatic gray out. This is not a huge issue, I just have to pop in and... Just to get this a little closer so I don't have to no-clip around if we're looking at it. So here's what I'm thinking for um, our inspiration here. So we got, so we have this idea of this this elevator that would go up to the top floor, and then there's be a special elevator to get to the penthouse. 
Um, and this would block. But I like this. Um, like this, these crosswalks. This, which is why I'm thinking of multi-tiered. This is their courtyard of sorts. Um, we could do a chore layer, or these could be sprite bridges. They could all be sprites, to be honest. Because you won't be going on these with the exception of the elevator, potentially. I did think of a chore layer. Just chore, 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 because you'd just be inside. And still do sprite bridges. So we're going to build in out. Okay. Um, we're going to think about the the bridge here. Um, not the bridge, sorry. Uh, what am I thinking about? I'm thinking about the elevator. So we're going to put the little elevator block here. This is going to be the elevator. Just think about that like that. I, I'm thinking it's going to be a sprite elevator for the effect that I want. Uh, I'm just bringing in a little lizard trooper here just for reference for sizing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start planning this as if it was a chore layer just for now, but I might change my mind. Um, here you go down. So how high would we want the first layer? Oh, I just had an idea. Maybe. Because it's you're kind of like in a mall location, so maybe that would be a higher ceiling. And then if we thought about it even more. We're just kind of molding this out like clay is how I'd think about this. Roughing out some shapes here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm thinking that's a good size for an elevator. Especially if it's just gonna blow up and like cascade, which means we would have to have this as one big layer. Yeah, so if that's gonna be a sprite explosion, or it goes, right? Then this would have to be one tall room to fit that whole sprite. Oh, okay. Let's... I don't know how explosions and chore layers will work, because one, I've also never done explosions. So I'm already being a little ambitious here. Um... And then that would be the start of the walkway. Then you have a walkway, walkway. I want this to be a little bigger. I'm think, think about this as the like underside of the walkway. And we're thinking about maybe that sprites or not. Like if it was a chore layer, I'd do this. Um, Unless we did like a cascading one. We could kind of cheat that way. Could I? I cascaded the other way I could. to feel the size of the room the scope I want to get I'm ignoring this way I'm, I'm thinking about this way We do a stack. So what I'm thinking about this stack, this is what I'm kind of meaning. This down one. Um, then you would not do that. Sorry, I had that. I'm gonna move this out for this effect. So would do like another layer. Uh, 
that's where the chore layer would have to start. Otherwise we'd have to cascade inwards. That might work still, actually. That might work still. This makes no sense if you're, you're not in my mind right now, but I don't even know how to properly explain it until I start building it. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm think about it like a the inside of a pyramid if it was hollow, but you you could still see the walls. So like a reverse pyramid. I don't know if this effect is going to work the way... So what we do is... We're going to do one more layer. We're going to make it a little longer. this idea fail spectacularly. delete this for now just for sizing and we're gonna highlight all of these sections I wonder if I don't might no here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save this actually a new version using one sorry uh, and I'm gonna do some jointed here 
I think I've established sector hierarchy, so I think we're okay if we do this now. Hopefully. doing is just seeing how tall we want the topmost section to be. Was misaligned, so it was messing me up. Uh, now we're gonna lower this. Didn't feel tall enough now. I think it's because I would like. Oh, 
four, one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Wait. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one. If this was a solid wall, I think it would make, instead of cascading backwards like this. Because those would be like um, little sweets, except for this. So this would be something like that. If we decorate it, it might be more readable as a pool. Or change the shade. Oh, I thought there was a darker one. I guess I could, I, you would just like lighten it up, right? Let's see where I want this to fall in line.
Because you'd go under here as the, uh, have, like, the entrance. If you want to think about that. Kind of using a, a different version of the technique for now that we use for the entrance as well. Interesting. Why are you doing it like that? Oh, some weird sector hierarchy going on here. to bring it up to 352256. these two This is like a level switcher. I don't know if I could just change the mask one. Thank 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use this because I might do something again if it's going to blow up. instead of quickly just stacking a bunch of sprites. And like that would be... something to fill the color gap.
maybe. Let's look at the... how does this thing look? I have to do the exact one. even do that. I think instead of it being square, I did try to make it more of an octave. shapes here. Oh, you could add this. Get to see what I was doing here. Sorry. Um. The next. Well, my my technique will probably change as I kind of progress as well, because I it's not really like I know what I'm doing all the time. I'm kind of I like I like to just poke at things and see what happens. Um, mainly because I, I I go in with very little planning sometimes. Reset this one. I think. I think this shape makes more sense based on the reference photo. Um. And it is more interesting to a certain degree, so we could. to cut those in but we want to see depth here and that's where like where do we where do we stop we could do it so this would all be sprites and then you would slope uh, outwards so we could do a facade If we're, if we're trying to figure out a way to not use just tror tror tror, because I want this to explode, and this means if we have to rebuild something like this out of sprites, just as an example, to make it all fall apart. Um, I think I could make that top look different as well. For the penthouse. even shrink that if this is the is it going to be a pool it's like the entire thing wouldn't be a pool it wouldn't be like you go up and be like a part in the middle Oh, 
Do that. That's something that would look kind of like girders. That would be white. I think the only downside with the design of this. Um, style of elevators, the sprites for stock assets doesn't give us a ton of room. You could put sprites across. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work for the effect that I'm thinking of here. Let's say we did. Let's just say for fun we did. Guys here. Unless you did it like this would be kind of solid and then this wouldn't. What I'm thinking about is we build the elevator out like it has a little base here. Um, I know this looks really kooky and weird right now, but there is a reason. <laughs> it's because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, no, 
I'm trying to think if if we're gonna explode this because the the build engine has that destructibility where things go when you can collapse stuff like sprites will collapse. So we'd have to have this like a base be sprites, but I I want this to feel tall and I'd like to be able to see in here as if these are. Um, different floors so you could see into it from a bit from an angle and my current idea is like this So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to do a real quick, dirty version of this. This seems like a very... sure I actually got rid of them. Made a bunch of duplicates I didn't mean to. Like this is a, this is a lot. Make this effect work. Oh my god, I keep not grabbing it. I'm going to go hard on this one concept here. I could tell you I would already cut like a hundred of these sprites down if I actually like how this idea works.
Oh my god. Such a it's gonna be such a dumb idea. Probably is a shortcut for this, and I'm I'm just. A... Oh no! Is there so? Oh my God! There's so many duplicates. Zooming in is going to be a better approach. Is there not a way to... I know I can hold this down, it's like I'm painting over it. I can't believe it's not the same kind of button combination just to do... Master. Here's what I'm thinking. selection here. This is what I was thinking, right? And you would just do... Less and less. You'd only have to see a certain... Certain depth to a certain degree. I might actually change the way I designed the whole thing. Um,
duplicate that. We won't need these. Or slowly losing sprites here. Of working actually, I, I do think I might have to change the design of what I'm doing because one, I would like to reduce the sprites, but the idea is like for, for that, um, I could do even just this. mimic the idea of stores. And we would just do the same thing here. So this would actually... Wouldn't even need that. Because this would just lower. have this angle here though that's the only thing but this might actually work better because if we do it like this then we could just make this one big. Yeah. Yeah. Really just how big do we want this to be? I'm okay with actually this. And then maybe even that. I had less of an idea for this area than I, uh, for the actual completion part. I know the hour is up, but I'm gonna at least get the balcony 
example done. I think I know how to do it, and then that way I'll remember where I am when I left off, even if I have to redo the whole section. God, there's got to be a way, better way to get rid of these uh, sprites than just holding delete down. Like mass delete. Probably look that up. Um, okay, so we want this, we want this for the design aesthetic. Um, so it's this one we want to get rid of. Yeah, we could still have it this way. I think. So we would just have to... Oh yeah, I got a, I got an idea. Oh, I got an idea that's gonna really pull this all together actually real quick. I just want it to go...
this is gonna work. Okay. to go actually come on screwed up myself do is stamp something like that but we're going to use a more neutral texture like this that we can make a lot larger probably go even bigger. Let's see how big this can go first. Might be a little too big. So what we do is we lower this down to this, right? So this will be our, our barrier of entry here. And then what we can do is raise these guys up. Let's get rid of him. Make this longer. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna, oh 
highlight all these sprites here. Uh, actually, we're going to save so we can easily go back. And then I think this will give you a good idea of what we're talking about. I might do a, a completely different option still. sure I didn't have anything else selected here. Okay, so now I'm on top. Uh, so this is gap in there. We'll fix that in the next revision version, but again for this I wanna I wanna just see how this will work. Just gonna F3 this. It's definitely uh, 
portion issue right here. This is three. Ah, uh, this is four. There we go. Uh, one more layer, and then I'll do my little trick I'm thinking. This isn't the right sprites for it, I think. It's still... Just like a flat white. This would also go this way too. I think what's going to sell it is if we put like a pillar, right? But I think the pillar would be the good cutoff point too for where this would be real and then this would take over. Maybe a pillar right here, for example. Probably custom shade all those and then make them darker, 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 darker as things go up. Um.
I can visually see it a little bit different, right? So. That's it. I think that's what we do. Then we can even do a pillar right here. Just a little follow up of one. This would for sure be swapped out. This is probably be swapped out too. Uh, but if we're, we're going to do the same thing on this side. drop that right here Then we can copy all of these.
See? That's, that's the thought process. We do something like this. Um, I'd actually do one better here and like make this maybe something different. Uh, for now though, we're gonna... something like this just temporarily so we get the uh, the rest of the design here figured out The only thing that isn't going to work out here is the shading action, now that I think about it. Because I don't think it's going to get as dark up top, where if I did chore layers, it, I could. Or I'd sprite it up, but that seems a little excessive. Um, and then because we're thinking this is Duke's penthouse... be as needed as I want it to be. I think it might actually be easier if I just did uh, What am I using here? I'm just using this. thing and then I'm done.
throw that, we'll flip it. We're going to make this as big as possible. Let's see how big this gets. Deep in thought in terms of what I might want to Thank you. 
This is a very um, excessive thing that's supposed to be only temporary. It's an experiment. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, what we're going to stick with. trying to think of a cause the idea here is we would like this to blow up so this is this is just temporary this elevator thing uh because i'm gonna have to make a version out of sprites i'm thinking so i can do like an explosion collapse where it goes you know um so i'd think i i'm thinking this would have to be one big area for that to work so i couldn't do a drawer so i'm Let's see if I just do some fake sprite floors. So you have the illusion of this, and then maybe have some some stuff go across like bridges or something. And that's an actual that's a that's a good joke. I think 192 is going to be our sweet spot for this sizing here. We could make it look like a rocket, though. You're right. And that would be something we could do.
Um, yeah, yeah, I know. So, but I, I'm not going to keep these sprites. So like, if you go up to them, you'll see that there's like a little gap here. I'm not, I just wanted to see how the layering would work. Um, cause I have it like pyramid shaped here and I don't, I don't know if that's actually necessary at all. So I think this is a really good test. But I, I think I I can optimize this a lot better. And then obviously I need this to be explosion explosive. Oh, that would be a good callback too if this does explode like in launch facility. Yeah, that's a good point. I think as a, a neat little experiment to see how this would work, I I think this is how we could do the multi-tier part. So like this would be over here. Like if you go into the mall, there'd be like a middle section here. Because if you're in the food court, you would see the UFO like right here, which means above here, maybe you'd see it as well. Yeah, like the edge of it would come out over here.
Yeah, and that would make sense. It would be right over here, which is why you have to go up here or want to. Um, and then you have to find a different way to get up there. And that's why you have to go throughout the mall. There's one little thing I could do in here too to make gazebo areas. Because this would be a something else, maybe? I don't know. In game just to look at it. That might be where we end stream tonight too. So we got we got a couple of sections. We can start working on the outdoor area, and then when we started working on this concept, um, you know, it would be like here. It doesn't have to be. We can just move things whenever we want. Like conceptually, we could do something like that. We can even tilt that glass. Well, uh, like again, this isn't this isn't what the final design would would look like either. Maybe we could go grander and have this go angled outwards, maybe. Maybe that's what we would do, is, is this would go, the hallway would go down that way. So this would go out way that way. I guess I have no idea what I'm talking about yet, but it'll, it'll make sense when I'm, I finally get around to doing it. Um, okay, so let me load this up. Weird test area. Not all the stuff we did. Uh, and actually, DN show map. Uh, this was a test area from last week. Just a nice little recap. This is one of the first little experiments we did for the Bass Pro Shop for uh, the glass that we want. Um, think about putting it like right here. Of course, we still have this area we have to work on. They should drag this stuff closer now. You come to get me? Uh, 
then we got our our mall. Now it has a, a more formal entrance. I still have a bunch of design work I think we'll go do here. Add some paths that come out. Have a, like a tiny little parking section here. Nothing big. Uh, can I take a screenshot of this? I think that'll work. Now we just need to figure out how to make this stuff explode, which obviously means I'll have to rebuild it. But I still need to... F uh, I, I want to flush out uh, the design area of this just to get the geometry right um, before we figure out the actual texturing and then how to make this stuff explode. Because I'd hate to start building this and then all of a sudden it, it turns out I have to change all this design to work. And I can kind of tighten up this stuff. Uh, I think I can make it... Again, I, I want to find a way to do this without doing um, any chore for this. This just a how do we want to make this darker? So we do do a no shade, and then we would manually shade this. Um, I could, I, you know what, I, I'm going to quickly do that right now for you guys, actually. Let me do this. It's because it'll only take me a minute. And you'll get a rough idea of what I'm talking about. For those who've never seen this. Um, so give me second here That's eight. This is Go a little bit. Four. Nine there. No, you can't see anything, but trust me. Almost done. Got one more. Uh, 
Hopefully, it, uh, I don't know if I have no shade on. Give me a second. Just reopening. Reopening E Duke here. And I don't know how to way of doing like no shade selection, so I I, I won't uh, I won't do this again. Oh, I should have moved all this stuff closer. Oh. Uh, I don't think I, my no shade's working. What I did here, I'll show you. I'll show you in the editor instead. Uh, so at least that way you can see what I'm what I'm talking about. Uh, it's not, I don't know if it's as effective as I want. So, like, it gets darker at the top. So what I did is you can shade these, like, darkened sprites. So here we have them at zero. And then as we go up, three, six, and then nine. So it gets darker as you go up. But I have to hit a no shade value, which is when you hit N on this. And then it hits... uh no shade on so it won't match the the shading of this this is for like lighting effects and that which i, I haven't done yet uh so and then what we could do is we would stack sprites of these up this wall if we wanted and darken them as we go up to mimic the idea of this. The only problem is this would explode and then not cast light here. So I, I don't know that again. That's why I might change the design of this or or widen where they are so they're not as close to this. But that's how it would vaguely look like: is you just manually shade things to give the illusion that things are getting darker up top, right? Um, but yeah, that's that's what we got going on there. So that's. Where I think I'll probably end it for today's stream. Again, this was unexpected. I'm I'm really glad everybody should came out. To be honest, I, this this for something that was not planned. I've had way more viewers than I anticipated today. Um, it's always a positive. I feel like we did get a get a lot of stuff done here. In terms of fleshing out the uh, ideas of the areas and how they're going to connect, um, it's only more connected t t tissue and then the gameplay. Like I guess we have this one thing. We have this one trap idea that we have here, uh, and I have a few other cool, unique ideas for for gameplay for certain stores we're going to go into, which are going to be like your key card areas if you want to think about it like that. Um, but it's this kind of connective tissue stuff. That'll help make things a little smoother because some stuff you're going to have consistency in terms of the design. And we still haven't figured out the design of the mall itself. Like, I know we're not going to go down all the wings, so maybe we won't have a wing here. Um, we'll block things off. I know what I want this thing to be. This is like your little food court area. Um, Which, because it's on the second floor, maybe we'd have it come out on the second floor. So you have a shortcut, and it would, so you'd have a real second floor here. You dive off. 
That would complicate this as well. Oh, ah, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that was good. A good progress. You know what I'll do? I'll... Uh, I'll just take a picture of this map currently. Thanks for coming around, everybody. That was a nice little bonus stream. I'll get, uh, I haven't figured out, I don't think of any plans for next weekend, Saturday, uh, like personally that are going to interrupt like we have had for the past few times. So, um, I might go back to, uh, for the actual let's play. We had the Roach Island and Arash Island and clear the coast. Maybe we do that one. As a combo, or unless something else new comes out, because <laughs> that's usually what I'll, I'll take priority for something like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for everybody uh, for coming around. If you haven't liked and subscribed, you know, I'll see you all next weekend. <laughs>